Well, hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I have some good news today and uh, potentially a kind of a waste of time project, but something kind of cool. First of all, I want to say that uh, I finally got around to replacing the lens on this camera. So the good news is that I don't think it's going to fog up anymore. I let it play out for about 10 minutes after I put the new lens in it and uh, it hasn't fogged up. So this will kind of just be more of a test video for the camera than anything, I guess. Um, so on the other hand, let's check out what we got going on. Alright, so it's no secret that this hood on this truck looks like absolute shit. So, just let's just get out and say it here. I had to extend the hood on this truck to put the new engine in. And, uh, I kind of just got in a rush because it, you know, I kind of had to work and stuff. But anyway, next year I'm going to be building a new hood for this out of fiberglass most likely and uh and getting rid of this but i use this truck for my business and when you pull up to somebody's job in a truck that kind of i mean it's a cool truck and you guys watching my channel know that it's a cool truck and it's got like historical value and all that garbage to it but like the average person that's getting uh, yard work done sees this thing pull up in that hood and it just looks like crap and I think the way that things look kind of like hurt, you know, like the image thing, it kind of hurts your business sometimes, like stuff like this. So, um, so I think I'm just going to paint just the hood on it, just one color, and I think it'll look way better than it does until I build the new hood, and I think it'll give my customers a better impression of me. Let's check out some different colors we got here. All right, so when it comes to painting, um, you kind of got to play your cards right. So here's our first option. I'll explain this. So we got this orange, which is pretty much the same orange that the truck is, believe it or not, but this paint is faded. So I could paint the hood this color, but I'm not going to paint the whole truck because I'm not going to paint the truck this color. But the problem is, is painting it orange, as you can see, the orange doesn't match anymore because this is all sun faded. So if I paint the hood orange and leave the rest of the truck this color, it's probably going to look worse. So I don't think that's a good option. So let's move on to our next option. So our next option is this international blue. Now, those of you guys that kind of know old trucks, I think it was the R190s. Um, yeah, I think just the R the R series, the R190s had uh, some of them were orange and they had a blue hood. Um, I haven't seen that many of them, but I've seen a few. So this obviously isn't going to match the orange, but it's okay because now we're not trying to match a color that is never going to match. And I think this is the better option is making something that's not going to match at all. And it's kind of uh, stock to some of this body style truck that already had the blue hood and i already got the blue fenders i don't know how it's going to look with the blue fenders and the blue hood and then just the orange cab but like i said it doesn't matter this is basically just to make it look better um at first glance and kind of make my business appearance look better um and uh it's a video to test this camera lens out so um so yeah, I think I'm going to go with this blue anyway. So let's get this thing masked off. It's a little bit windy today. It's not the best day to paint, which I don't care how this comes out. I'm almost tempted to brush it on, but uh, I'm going to do a little better than that, I think. And it's easier to spray it anyway. I mean, it's easier to brush it because you don't have to mask anything off. But it's easier to spray it, but you have to mask it off. So it's like, you know, choose what messing around you want to do, really. <laughs> It comes out better sprayed though. Anyway, it's better spending the time. Um, yeah, I'm already dripping paint, so that means I better get my ass in gear and get this thing masked off, so let's do it.
All right, there we go. We got her all masked off with some newspaper. She's all ready to go. I tell you what, whoever painted this thing needs their ass kicked for not doing any prep work. I wonder who painted that. You're probably looking at them right here. Yeah, these are just uh, panels that I got from my uh, the heating plenum things there. And I just brush painted paint on these. I couldn't believe I put the tape on that thing and it just peeled right off. I don't know if anybody actually seen it because it was on time lapse, but <laughs> yeah, anyway. So there's a couple things that I can't stress enough here. If you're watching this video because you want to learn how to paint, this isn't the video to watch. You either want to watch my video on uh, doing the bodywork on the Nissan Rogue or painting my 62 Peterbilt. Those are done right. This is not how you paint things right. So if anybody does stuff like this and messes it up, it's not on me. First of all, you should always never use newspaper because newspaper is not uh, like waterproof, so to speak, because the paint will just bleed right through this. What you should use is actual masking paper like this or plastic, actual car covering plastic. I'm not going to use that expensive stuff on this because it doesn't matter. I can care less what happens. Enough said there. Another thing, when it's windy like this, so first of all, you shouldn't be painting at all. Even if it's not windy, I can't stress this enough. This is, this is actually true. No matter if it takes three rolls of tape, you see that paper up there, how it's just... How it's just blowing around. You want to make sure, no matter what, that that is taped really good up there because you figure a roll of tape costs, you know, that I'm using the good tape, it's like three bucks a roll. So you figure even if you use the whole roll of tape just to make sure that is up there is good, so you're out three dollars, it's still gonna be cheaper than that paper or plastic, whatever you're using, coming down on that hood and messing up your paint job. So yeah, anyway, enough said. Now we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna go over this thing with a red scuff pad and uh, get it scuffed up and then we'll get to painting this thing. Got this thing all sanded and wiped down with uh, wax and grease remover. I think we're ready to mix our paint up. I want to be a little sarcastic here for a minute. So this rust spot, this is something I've always wanted to try. I got a little story about this rust bubble right here. So I bought this duster about uh, seven, eight years ago, something like that. And uh, when me and my father went out, we looked at probably a dozen of these cars before I found this one. And every single one of them, the quarters were rotted, the doors were rotted, you know, the rockers were rotted. They were just bubbled and rusted and stuff just like that. Well, all the guys that we looked at these cars were like, oh, all you got to do is just wire brush and just paint right over that rust and it'll be just fine. So... And then, like, you know, me and my dad have been doing body work our whole life, so, I mean, we pretty much know everything about it. Um, so, uh, like, these people would get mad. I mean, like, oh, you know, you could tell them you just can't do that, and they're like, oh, well, you're never going to find a car this solid, and blah, 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 and, and everything, and they're, you just wire your brush right over that rust, and just paint right over it, and it'll look like a show car. Like, I'm not even joking, that's what these people were saying. Like, no lie at all. I mean, I wish I would have filmed it, because it's hilarious. 
Um, so I actually want to try that. I actually want to see if that works. Um, before I get on a big rant here about it, I really want to see if that actually works. So let's try it on that rust spot because this is the perfect candidate. So theoretically, I should be able to wire brush that rust spot and then it'll come out like a show, a hundred point show car paint job. So let's try it and see if it works. All right, we got our wire brush here, so let's pay attention and I'll see if I can do it exactly how those people told me to do it. And if I do it right, it should come out looking beautiful. I mean, this this is a rot hole. This is a hole. So I guess if you wire brush it, it'll, it'll just like make all that go away. So let's try it. I think that's good enough. Actually, uh, I tell you what, that's already welded itself together and looks pretty solid already. So I'm thinking after we paint that, this thing will look beautiful. So yeah, I think we're on the right track here. I guess I learned something. Alrighty, we're ready to paint. I got my paint mixed up and in the gun. Um, you know, another thing that's nice about this Rust-Oleum, which you're probably not saving much money anyway, but anyway, it's really thick, so I usually split this Rust-Oleum 50-50 with uh, enamel hard or uh, enamel reducer, and I put a little bit of enamel hardener in it. Never had a problem doing that. Um, so you end up with like twice as much paint, but on the downside, you're really not saving a whole lot anyway because this is like 25 bucks a gallon, and you know this is like 20 dollars. So I don't know, whatever. That's all I'm gonna say. So. All right, we're ready to paint. I got my mask. I guess if you stay six feet away from the paint, you don't have to wear the mask, but I'm gonna wear mine anyway. Um, so yeah, let's get painting here. Actually, let's try that rust spot out first and we'll see how that comes out, like show quality. I gotta say those guys with the dusters are I think are right so I mean that you know the way you're brushing and painting that I mean that just I don't even see that rust spot anymore so um yeah you know I, I guess I learned something so I'm gonna do that from now on instead of cutting that out and welding the patch in there and replacing the whole panel I'm just gonna wire brush it and paint right over it and that's what they said to do and it looks like it works to me so I'll let you guys be the judge, I guess. Anyway, uh, let's set this camera up somewhere and get our first coat of paint on this thing. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna paint right over all that hardware because I just, I don't care, you know? It's, it's not anything special I'm doing. This hood is gonna get ripped off and probably just used for getting cut up for sheet metal. All right, well, the first coat came out pretty good. Well, I mean for this. <laughs> it's far from good, but it actually looks nicer than I expected it to. That's going to take some cover in there, but... Yeah, it came out pretty good. Even that rust spot looks 100 point, so... <clears throat> got some more paint mixed up. And we're going to put another sinket coat. Okay, another sinket coat. We're going to put a sinket coat on it. See how much better she looks.
there we go there's a second coat of paint that's all i'm putting on it is just two coats ain't worth wasting any more paint on this project this thing here where this whole sheet of paint peeled off got a little bit of lifting going on there just adds to the character a rust spot came out just immaculate i can't believe how good that came out yeah uh, let me see if i can get up here the whole top of this thing is loaded with pine needles from that tree and the little helicopter things from that tree and uh just all kinds of other debris and shit bugs and whatnot i think it looks great just came out beautiful now that's what happens when you paint stuff outside but i really care less about this it, it look you know what it looks it looks way better than it did There we go. I'll check this thing out. You know, it actually looks like the R190s. It's like the same color scheme. Let's look at it from a distance here. Yeah, it looks a little goofy, I'm not gonna lie, but uh, it definitely looks a lot better than like the four shades of orange that were on that hood. And you don't seem to notice like all the, all the dents and all that crap as much i guess i don't know it's hard to say but i'm gonna say it looks a lot better than it did without a doubt i mean <laughs> it's definitely looks better i mean i was thinking about painting the grill but the grill i'm not gonna i'm gonna keep the grill so i'm i don't want to have to strip all that blue paint off of the grill when i actually paint it with the nice paint so i think that kind of breaks it up anyway I had thinking the fenders would look really good black now, but you know, I'm just gonna leave it alone. It's good enough. It looks way better than it did. It looks a lot more presentable now. So until I get to make my other hood, uh, this will work. <clears throat> Let's get in it here and see what we got oh yeah just a little bit of an update here if you watched my last video about this i did the rocker panel on the passenger side and uh, uh let's see about a week ago uh, here it is the beginning or middle of october just about but yeah about a week ago i did the driver side one and as you can see i didn't actually replace this whole panel like i did on the passenger side because this was all really nice and solid the only hole was this hole right here on the front and I just cut it out and uh, replaced it and and there was a hole back here on the floor not part of the rocker but you could see I made this patch panel right here and then go in that quarter like there was a big hole right here that was just rusted out when I needle scaled it it just went right through so I cut that circle out and then just made this panel over it and then just kind of painted it and um, so yeah it's a lot better but yeah this this color is awesome I mean, this is just such a nice color here you can see it in the sun it's the last time i did this video the sun was kind of it was gloomy that day but yeah it's a really nice color so yeah the whole truck's going to be this color eventually and the other thing i did was i got some seats for this thing can't really see that one because there's a bunch of junk on it but i got the seat over there from a junkyard and this seat here was actually in my peat the air ride seat uh, because the peat over here i'm gonna get two nice matching seats for that just because you know that's a nice truck and i want that thing to look good so this truck here is kind of more of a work truck at this point you know, i mean i show it and stuff but it's more of you know i just use it more than anything so you know this one here i mean these seats are super comfortable actually the passenger seat's more comfortable than the driver's seat but the passenger seat's not air ride that's just out of a pickup truck but this is an air ride seat but i can't really use the air ride because the steering wheel when you sit in it you know if you go up at all your legs will just go into that wheel and i thought about getting a smaller wheel because this thing's pretty easy to steer 
So yeah, that's uh, what I did to this since the last door jam I did, and I got that one done and all ready. So I just got to fix some other issues on this truck when I paint it, but I'll just get to that when I do it. Let's get in this thing and see what it looks like from a from the driver's view here. I got this thing right in front of my face, so you're pretty much seeing what I see. And you're probably seeing all the pine needles and all the crap that's embedded in that paint on that hood. But once it dries, it'll just wipe right off with a rag or a wash mitt. I'm not worried about it. It actually looks pretty good in here. I gotta say, um, yeah, I'm really happy with the way that came out. So, you know what? Like I said, it looks way better than it did. Way better than it did, without a doubt. Yeah, there she is, though. Doors on this old girl shut really nice, I tell you what. They're, they shut really good, so it's a nice old truck. It's got some issues I gotta fix on it, and we'll have this thing painted up just as nice as that Peterbilt, hopefully in a year from now. <laughs> well, it's a work in progress, I guess. Well, yeah, I don't walk around and kind of see show you some of the things I did I don't know I I know I keep talking about a follow-up video for this truck if you're still watching or whatever and <laughs> good for you just figured I'd walk around and show off some of the stuff um, you know I'll just talk about some things for a couple minutes here while I'm waiting for this camera lens to fog up it seems pretty good so far but I built this plate for it this hitch plate right here this is actually this hitch right here is actually off of my gypsum express trailer it does kind of look like we're getting a little bit of fogging a little bit but anyway yeah so that's off of that trailer and then i made that i just bought the tube and then i made the rest for like a you know a receiver for a hitch while with the d-rings on led lights put that light up there and then this thing here i put on here to hook my breakaway for my trailer onto it you know, I like having stuff all nice and up to you know safety specifications and all that stuff one of the things the next things I'm gonna have to do to this truck um, just gonna go through some stuff here is so I I lost I don't know what happened to him but when I this this is the third rear end that's been in this truck since I've had it and uh, I when I when this truck was a toy truck like when I before I started using it I took these helper springs and all these brackets right off and I ended up losing the spring because the spring is supposed to come way over here like you know past this uh, perch or whatever you call it and I wasn't able to find them springs when I put this thing the helper springs back in so you can see how it's like eating into that and uh, yeah these have these have only been on here probably six months it's not like I really use this truck a lot, so and of course the the ones that were on the front I lost, so I made these ones to bolt on there. I made them, and you know you can see it's still kind of the same thing. So I'm gonna have to get some longer springs to put on the top of that helper spring, so that doesn't eat through that because eventually that's gonna that, you know that's not good. So yeah, that's probably gonna be a future project also. And, I don't know. I don't know if anybody ever seen this thing here. Because this was, I made all this stuff before I started my YouTube channel. But for the dump box, I don't know what this dump box is off of, but I bought this dump box and it was like the perfect length for this truck. You know, it was like just about six inches in between the cab and the box. It was like it was perfect. So I didn't want to make a P or get a PTO that went on the transmission and deal with all that shaft and stuff so I ended up making this whole thing here at one of those 212 Predator engines I made the little bracket there and I got a, a hydraulic pump that I bought so when you want to dump you get out you open that thing up these engines start I mean these engines start really good these Predator engines I have no complaints about them so you get out and you start that up and then you got your dump box control right here you, that's up and that's down and i built the hydraulic reservoir out of a propane tank and got the vented cap on top i got the return right there and then on the bottom we got the 
the uh, feed into the pump that goes up in the pump and then the pressure line goes back into the cylinder back there um, and then I made these spring hangers last year too or yeah spring hangers chain hangers last year too for uh, I got a set of triples that I put on here if I get some nasty weather and uh, yeah so a lot of the stuff I did before I started my YouTube channel and I guess uh, you guys missed a lot of good content so you know I just figured I'd walk you around the truck here and just show you a couple things you know, underneath oh yeah that one video I was telling you about like I was talking about the overhang about how far the engine hangs over the axle and I remember getting under there and it was dark that night so let's get under there now and check it out so there you go right there the engine and transmission that bell housing that's almost right above the axle maybe a little bit back and then you know you can kind of see up there you know like where the radiator and stuff is I uh show you up in here the engine and stuff like that and see in there but yeah, that was a lot of work putting that engine in but it was a lot of fun too so I'd love to do another one the Detroit wasn't really my first choice I wanted to put a 3406 in this thing and uh, I just couldn't find one you know with the price I wanted to spend this engine here actually was in a Brockway dump truck that had a rollover recently after it had an in frame done so it's really the thing runs like a clock so you know like i said the detroit wasn't my first choice because it doesn't have well it's got a lot more power than the gas engine that was in it but it's not you know it's definitely not a powerhouse i had a 99 pete with a 3406e in it and that was I mean, that was a ton of these things, and after you drive one of them, everything else is junk, I think. So, you know, eventually I'll probably put a different engine in it. I'd like to anyway, because you know, even when I hook my skid steer up to this thing, you still have to get right down and dirty with it going up hills and stuff like that. So, um, you know, it's definitely not a powerhouse, but it's got a 15 speed in it, so you got a nice low gear and stuff. So, you know it works out pretty good i guess you know for the lack of power you, you won't run out of gears going up a hill so <clears throat> yeah so i guess that's pretty much it i mean um you know just wanted to do a quick walk around and all that so anyway i'm gonna end this video here and uh i don't know whatever i decide to do next on this video you'll see it after i get it done so until next time, thanks again everybody for watching and hope you enjoyed watching me do this ridiculous blue paint job on this thing and just made it look worse and learned a couple things in the process about rust <laughs> if you're still watching this long. So yeah, anyway, well, take care and thanks for watching.